So one common question we get asked is, what is in your tool bag? What are your must have things to take? This isn't everything in my tool bag. Some things are just lay loose in the hiker. Pretty close though. I carry this small little tool pouch. This is an AWP pouch. Uh, just really generic, inexpensive. Doesn't need to be heavy duty for what it is. I have a tire uh, repair kit. This is for all different kinds of road tires. It's a plug kit. So you've got a reamer and you've got something to plug a tire. I carry a small little Plano uh, tackle box. I've got some nails, some screws, I've got some fittings, I've got some wire nuts, just a little bit of everything that I can do a quick repair for electrical or have uh, screw a cabinet or something together, something that comes loose. I carry a slip joint pliers. To do those repairs, I've got a tool here that can cut wire and also crimp wire basic channel locks or uh, crescent wrench sorry crescent wrench got to be able to check the air in your tires basic black electrical tape got a uh, 5 16 nut driver a little bit smaller this is a uh, a little bit smaller crescent wrench extra fuses important I carry a tool pouch and in my tool pouch is a basic set of open end wrenches something to cut with so just got a basic razor blade I've got this is a craftsman all-in-one screwdriver so it gives you the straight tip the Phillips tip I can switch it around and it's got multiple heads and sizes inside star bit so on. A little bit of WD-40, never know when you develop a squeak somewhere. Something to strip wire and crimp it. A little bit more fancier, uh, heavier duty. This is Scott's 700 vinyl electric tape. This works a lot better. You really need to hold on. A couple of bungee ties. These can hold the doors back if we need to. Always bring zip ties. Never know when you can use them. Something hanging low. Another 701 screwdriver. I've got a four-way. I don't need it. I have a seven-way, but I've had this in here for quite a while. If I got to help a buddy out, some more additional fuses, the sizes that I need. So this is a really important adapter that I love. If you're in a campground, RVs, the bigger RVs, use a 30 amp plug, which is two of these sideways. Okay, not your standard household plug like this. So this converts it from an RV plug 30 amp to a 15 amp household current. So this allows me to plug an additional extension cord in here if I need to. This thing has been a lifesaver in a lot of campgrounds when you're sharing the pole with your neighbor and somebody's hogging. <laughs> you can use this to get yourself some extra power. That's all that's in my tool bag. So these are just some basic tools I can do basic repair. Carry a couple other things. I like to carry duct tape. I like to carry fabric tape, waterproof tear tape. Um, those are some of the extras I don't carry in here. But that's it. So if you guys have any questions on these things, we'll try to put them down in the description below. But this is our basic tool bag for a basic repair. So a little mod, in one of our past videos, we showed you friends of ours, they removed that little flap that was in the front here, this awning. There's a little flap of material that kind of hung down in this area here. And it was simple as removing that cap. I'll show you here in a second. Take this cap off, remove the screw here, and there's one screw here in the bottom. Remove that, the fabric just runs in the channel here all the way across so you just slide that piece out and i'll show you where we moved it we just took this piece of fabric and we're going to slide it in so wendy's on the other end she's going to pull it in a little bit 
and she's tucking it in. Get it right to the end here. Are you in? Yep. Okay. So she's all the way in. Yep, we're all the way in. Then we just go and reverse the process and replace the cap. You're gonna have to modify your cap. Once you push that channel in, you're gonna have to take a little uh, knife and just put a light, nice little slit about the set size of what this one is. And if you get it the same on both sides, you just put your cap back on and put your tap screws back in. So what does that get, gain us? Well, let's, let's take a look. So underneath now, where people would always complain with the 270 awnings, you've got a big gap here between this area and this area. Now you have a piece of fabric that's gonna prevent a lot of that rain or stuff dripping down. So what we'll probably do is pull it back and we'll put a little pinch clamp and that'll hold it in place so the wind doesn't blow it. And it creates a little bit of a wind block and it's gonna create a rain block. And then with your bag hanging down on the front, there's not a whole lot of room for rain to get through. Now granted you have a throwing down thunderstorm, it's gonna change things, but as you can see, it blocks a lot of that area. Looks really good, Wendy. I'm really happy with it. What do you think? Yeah, it's such a quick and easy improvement with that one too. Yep. Didn't take very long. I really like this. This completely blocks this whole area right through here. Um, this is gonna be really handy. So there's always that little bit of rain in a pouring thunderstorm or something that gets down into this area. So this is gonna work really well. So if you have a 270 awning, whether it's the Darchi or What's the other brand? OVS. OVS. There's several others that are all copycats of each other. Um, whether you have any of those, they all have that same design with removing the cap and moving the material. We don't need that flap on the front. It's kind of useless. It's always in the way. We always have to tuck it up and tie it up. And uh, now we can actually do something with it. There's several models on the market that are very similar. Um, you'll know if yours looks just like ours. So any other questions, put it down in the description down below. Love to get a discussion going in the comments if you've got any questions or thoughts. And like we always say, make sure you get out and do some camping. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya.